All right, we're going to take a little different view into my videos today. We're going to check out my newly installed drip system that I have hooked up to a couple tanks that will eventually uh, be running to all of my tanks, eliminating large water changes that I've been doing often weekly that have just been getting a little old. And uh, always wanted to do a drip system. And it was pretty simple to set up once I figured out the concept and uh, got it running. It's been running for about a day now and uh, it seems to be doing awesome. Right here with the faucet, which has the pressure regulator, a backflow valve, and then another attachment so that I can attach the uh, quarter inch tubing. Most important component uh, component right here would be the uh, pressure regulator. That makes it so that everything comes out at an even rate and uh, makes it so it doesn't blow everything off the end of the pipes or the tubing. All right, so that's the uh, that's the beginning of the system, and that travels down. I got it all taped down. It's just in my adjacent bathroom. And then the tubing comes down here and I've got one T there and one T there and this one leads up to a .5 gallon per hour dripper. This is a button dripper in my uh, 135 gallon tank with uh, my pair of Freddy's. And this is going to change out about 84 gallons a week. Uh, give me fresh water. and. Uh, That'll basically eliminate the large changes I've been doing. We'll go back to that other T, and that leads up to my uh, 225, which is dripping at one gallon per hour. You can see the flow's a little, about twice, exactly twice what that other one was. There's that one, and that just drips in, cold, fresh water. And at one gallon per hour, that's going to change twice to 84, so like 168 or something like that gallons per hour and then over to my 150 which we also have a one gallon per hour drip on that these are all button drippers and they're working really good and now 150 and the 225 are both plumbed in the same sump and then here you get over here it's kind of dark but we can see it this right here is kind of the uh, overflow because as those uh, one gallon and one gallon drip in here. I'm getting an extra two gallons per hour every hour into this tank that uh, needs to be taken out. And the uh, wastewater will come out of the sump as the sump fills up. Cause, and I've got a hole drilled in here, you probably can't see it. That'll mark my water level that I want in the sump. And then uh, over the day it's stayed consistently. This basically works similarly to an uh, overflow box. And you have one reservoir for water, and then you have a siphon tube. And this other side keeps water in there, and then it drains out here, and then back through the floor. And uh, this just makes it so that you can drain, because this is only draining two gallons per hour, versus a normal overflow box, which will drain hundreds to, you know, a couple thousand gallons per hour, which isn't necessary with this application. We'll go over to the 135. This one you'll be able to see just a little bit better, get the concept of it. Right there you can see the water line hole. That drains into there. And then we've got a siphon tube here, which I've got one bubble in that I need to get rid of or else I could possibly lose my siphon at one point and flood my tank. And it's the same concept. And if you look, I don't know if you can see it really, but there it goes. This one's dripping out at half a gallon every hour. And I made sure to put the overflows on the opposite side of the tank slot and the other ones in the sump. That way I'm not, uh, water's being diluted pretty well before, just, just so I'm not getting rid of fresh water. But I don't have any uh, filter system hooked up to this. My uh, system runs very, very low and only chlorine. And uh, there's been a few tanks where I've tested with not using any um, dechlorinator or whatever. I may add a carbon block into the system eventually, but for right now it seems to be doing awesome. Both of the overflows have uh, worked flawlessly. I'm really impressed. I want to paint this one so it looks a little better. And uh, eventually I'm going to have this 20 and this 55 each. I'm going to hook up to a 0.5 gallon per hour drip which will give uh, this one about a 50% change every day and these are both fry tanks and that one will be 
Uh, the 55 will be probably about a 20% change every day at about 12 gallons turned out every day. Same thing with this, 75, and then I've got another 75 in the living room that I'd like to hook up to it. And that'll all uh, change out about 85 gallons a week. One, it'll even out my uh, water usage, which is something I've been very inconsistent with. And uh, two, it'll make it so I don't have to do any large changes. The only maintenance I'll need to do basically is uh, gravel vacs here and there. But uh, other than that, the uh, couple hours I've spent five or six days a week uh, changing out a couple hundred gallons of water on all my tanks is uh, basically eliminated. And the water just goes straight out. We'll go back over here. I've got a hole down here and that goes outside and then I've got it hooked up and it's uh, watering my plants. But yeah, that's my drip system. Set up, not 100% complete yet. This is pretty rough set up, but uh, it's functional, working really well. And uh, we'll see how the fish like it. I already like it as I woke up this morning, didn't have to do any freaking water changes, which is always nice. All right. This is my female Lumbee right there. She's well caught, she's got fry in there. So yeah, that's my drip system. I'll do more videos as uh, this advances and gets a little bit better. But uh, that's it so far. Thanks for watching.